Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be completely transforming my laundry room. I have felt very uninspired by this space for a while now, so it was time to clean it out and start fresh. If this is your first time to my channel, I live in an apartment, so when I pulled these out, I was completely disgusted with what I found. I hadn't done this since I moved in about a year ago, and that disgusting mess behind was not ours. Those socks were not ours. <laughs> So I had to get down and scrub that floor to try to get it looking decent again. And I'm gonna clean this washer and dryer up the best I can and move on to the best part, the decorating. Okay, I'm kind of embarrassed about this, but the transformation is going to be really satisfying, so it's okay. Once I got that huge mess cleaned up, I just made some pine saw water and got a scrub and a sponge, and I'm gonna try to loosen the buildup on the floor the best I can, and then I'm just gonna run a mop over it. Okay, now I'm just going to use some Windex disinfectant cleaner to wipe the washer and dryer down. These appliances were pretty gross and I never really noticed it before now, so I'm just going to scrub until I can't anymore. <laughs> this washer and dryer obviously came with the apartment, so they have been used by other tenants. And when we moved in, I cleaned the inside of them, but I never really paid attention to the outside of them. So all of the little nooks and crannies, all of that is still really gross. So there's going to be a few clips here that are just completely disgusting, but you got to do what you got to do, so let's get this done. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Okay, now I'm just gonna slide these back where they go. And in this clip right here, I actually got stuck behind the dryer and had to jump out. <laughs> so I cut that clip out. But here in just a second, I'm gonna climb on top of this washer and dryer and wipe down the little white racks that hang above them. For some reason, these racks collect tons of dust and it's not like regular dust, it's dust that sticks to it for some reason. So I'm just gonna scrub all of that dust off before we get busy decorating. Falling 
going to use a magic eraser sponge and I'm going to go on the inside of my washer and wipe down these black rings. Not really sure what that is, but some sort of buildup. And this magic eraser did a great job getting rid of it. There you were. Never thought it'd be easy to feel you in my arms. But now we're here and I'm all in. And I want it by you. Cause I can stay till the morning. Alright, I'm officially done with the washer and I'm moving on to the dryer. I'm just gonna take out the lint. Thing and empty it. I'm going to wipe down the dryer the best I can. Both of these appliances are pretty old so they are very worn but I'm just going to wipe this down, place that back in there and then we are going to move on to the decorating. I've been kind of conflicted on what my style is. When Will and I first got married we went with an eclectic look with all of our furniture and all of our decorations but I've always kind of loved farmhouse. So now I'm kind of trying to transform my house to farmhouse. So we've got a mixture of eclectic and modern and farmhouse, but eventually I would like all of my stuff to be a modern farmhouse look. So that's what I did with my laundry room. I got pieces that look kind of farmy and some pieces that look modern. Is it too late to tell you about how much I'm sorry for the things I have done? For the things I never did, but I promised it. I found these cute little jars at Michael's, and I wanted to put powder detergent in one and clothespins in the other. And I was hoping that this powder detergent was white, but it's blue, so we're just gonna roll with it. Now I'm just going to add some clothespins to the smaller jar, and no, I don't use clothespins, I just thought this was really cute. I also found these cute little baskets at Michael's and they were 50% off so I believe that they were less than $10 so I'm just going to put those in the top and then I'm going to put this bigger one on the bottom to try to create a little balance and before I did this organization my laundry room was kind of a disaster of just towels thrown everywhere so I planned to fill up those smaller baskets with all of my hand towels and washcloths and I actually have a spot in my bathroom where I'm going to put the larger towels. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by I've always thought it was really cute when people put their detergent in a drink dispenser on a pedestal So I've been looking for one for quite a while and I found this cute little one at Kroger I was broken How could they say you made me come undone now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them Now I'm just going to add this tiny green plant for a pop of color and we're done. I love the way that this turned out. I like things to be simple and clutter free, but also to feel like every space has a purpose. Think I'm lame since I met you. I am not the same. It was not meant to be a fairy tale with a happy end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all next time.